Well, you're right, guys. Hope you're all okay out there. Today, I am converting my beetroot zeppo from the allotment into a beetroot relish. So, apart from the beetroot, we have some allspice, sugar, some salt, apple cider vinegar, a bit of olive oil, some water, yellow mustard seeds, some ground cinnamon and an onion. And the ingredients and method will be in the description below, as always. Here we go then. OK, so first up we need to roast the beetroot. So preheat your oven to 200 Celsius. Place the beetroot on a bit of kitchen foil. Uh, give it a drizzle of olive oil and wrap them into little parcels. And in the oven for about 50 to 60 minutes. While the beetroot's in the oven, you might as well get the onion ready. So top and tail it and peel it. And I like to dice the onion for this one. The beetroot's a star of the show, so you don't want big slices of onion in the relish. And the way I do it is to make lots of slits in one direction. Just like this. And turn the onion through 90 degrees and make more slits. And then slice through as normal. And there you are, loads of little dice pieces of onion. And waste not, want not. Don't forget to chop up the big bits of onion that are left over. I ended up doing my beetroot for 60 minutes in the end. So take that out of the oven, um, open the parcels, just let them cool down. You don't want to be peeling the hot beetroot. It hurts your fingertips. Here we are then, cooled down for about half an hour. And now on with the messy jobs. There's no way around it. You're going to get dirty. It's going to get messy. I used a potato peeler for this. You can use a knife, kitchen knife, paring knife. And when they're all done, grate them. Another messy job. I dare say you could use a food processor for this and then you wouldn't have to chop these little bits up at the end that didn't go through the grater. Okay then, time to start cooking. Uh, first off, put the yellow mustard seeds in the pan and dry fry them till they start popping. And as soon as they start popping, get a tablespoon of oil in there. It calms them down and stops them going all over the place. Then in with the onions and cook them until they're translucent. Probably five or six minutes or so. In with a cup of water. around. In with the sugar. Quarter teaspoon of allspice. Quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And about two teaspoons of salt. I used a little bit less. Down to personal taste this really. And in with the star of the show, the beetroot. Now this won't take long to cook because the beetroot's already roasted. You can do it with raw beetroot but you need to add about an hour to the cooking time. This will take about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Get it all mixed together and then in with the apple cider vinegar. About four tablespoons. Nothing too accurate with a relish. 
In fact, I added one more tablespoon afterwards. I did a taste test and I thought a little bit more acid would be nice. Here we are then, about 25 minutes later, so time to start jarring up. All the equipment's been sterilised, the funnel, jar, spoon, lids. I just put them in the oven, uh, 105 Celsius, about 20 minutes. This recipe ended up making two 380 ml jars, your normal jam jar size. Not bad really, I thought it'd be a little bit less than that. If you can resist the temptation, it's best to leave these for a week or so, just to let the flavours mature and infuse a bit. And it will keep for about three months. I say it will keep for three months, it will keep for three months if you don't eat it. <laughs> And when you've crammed the jars full, give the lids of the jars a quick wipe round. You don't want the uh, sticky stuff on the lids. Lids on. Yes, <laughs> they are hot. Here we are then, two jars of beetroot relish. And if the taste now is anything to go by, it's going to be very nice in a week's time. Hope you enjoyed this one guys, quite a simple one to make. Catch you next time, stay safe and take care.